We are back with the second video in the Rock Drum Fills course, and in this course, we're gonna look at a few different fills that, like I said in the first course, are gonna teach you some associated techniques. Now, in the first fill, you'll notice it's very different because it's actually one bar of beat, then half bar of beat, and then half bar of fill. And most drummers think that a fill, as I, at least I thought, I shouldn't say most drummers, I thought when I first started, a fill is always one bar, and that is wrong. A fill can be uh, a bar and a half, it can be one beat, it could be half a beat, it could be a quarter of a beat, like a sixteenth. Um, it can be many, many different things. And so here's where we're going to talk about some half bar fills. So for the first fill, it's as sixteenth notes. Okay, so sixteenth notes are four hits for every one count. So we're going to start with four hits on the snare drum on count three, then two hits on the high tom as sixteenth notes, and two hits on the floor tom. So it's going to go da 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 do 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 do. So you'll remember the first fill from the first video within this course. It was eighth notes, and it was four hits on the snare, two on the high tom, two on the floor tom. So this is the same fill crammed into a, a shorter period of time, so it's a different note value as sixteenth notes, but you'll, you'll find that it's actually going to be quite easy to get it, um, but it's going to feel weird playing only a half bar. Okay, so what I recommend you do is just listen to how I play it slow and fast and then you can go ahead and pause the video or you can watch the rest of the lesson and watch all the fills and then take it to your kit and really just count it out nice and slow and really get comfortable with how that half bar feels and how it feels to do a half bar fill. Okay, so here we go at again 60 and 100 beats per minute. Number two is another half bar fill just broken up a little differently. So we're going to start on the high tom with two hits. And then we're going to go to four hits on the snare. Now what's different about this is normally when we do four hits, it's always kind of, I would call it always square. Like it's always per count. So one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. But we're starting these four hits in the middle of count three. So the snare hits start on the end of three. So it goes three e and a, uh, four, E, and a, uh, then to the floor tom for the last two hits. So it's going to feel a little bit funky at first, but I think you're going to like it. Here we go. third half bar fill is where we're going to start incorporating some bass drum. And there's two kind of techniques that are associated here. First, it's a somewhat linear pattern. Okay, we talked a little bit about that in the first lesson within this course. And the linear patterns in the first lesson were all eighth notes, so here's something that we're dealing with which is sixteenth notes. 
And uh, it's also a little bit broken, so we're, we're using eighth notes and sixteenth notes combined together. Then the other thing is that there's a quick double kick drum hit on the end of three and the ah of three. And so you're going to have to really go slowly. I always like to just kind of take that one chunk and see how it, uh, or listen to it, just by tapping it on my legs. So that one chunk would sound like this. Three E and ah. So three E and ah. Three E and ah. Let's do the four as well. So three E and a four and a. Three E and a four and a one. Three E and a four and a one. Okay, let's try that two separate tempos. So the fourth fill is definitely the most challenging one to date. I think it's going to be the hardest for you and probably take the most time. If not, that's great. Um, it's basically a linear fill with a quick group of 16th note doubles. And again, if you want to start just on your legs, that's totally fine. So you can just play the 16th notes, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 and a, 4 E and a, All right, so that's the rhythm. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 and a, 4 E and a. So once you get the rhythm, you can now work on the orchestration. So, hi Tom. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Okay, I'm playing very quiet so I can talk and play at the same time. But I'll do it really slow at 60 and just listen to how the orchestration sounds. Listen to how the fill sounds, and try and, you know, when you listen to a song, you can pick out the melody, and you can eventually sing the song. And so with drumming, you can do that as well. So really listen to the, the way the tom sound, the snare sounds, and try and sing along with me. And then when you take it to your kit, you might find that it's actually easier to learn because your brain is already starting to memorize the melody on the drums. All right, here we go. The fifth one is probably going to be the most challenging fill to this point, and that's for a couple reasons. So go ahead and look at the and of two, so two e and uh, three, okay, and you're going to see that there's a floor tom on count three and three floor tom hits going in to count three. Uh, so when we're playing sixteenth notes, they're in groups of four, and so every time we throw like a group of three in there in any way, even if it kind of makes sense. It, uh, it generally throws drummers off. And so I wanted to give you something like this so you could get comfortable with how it feels and how it sounds. 
Okay, so the next thing I want you to notice is there is a one bass drum on the E of four. Now this is a linear pattern again, but we've been playing two hits on the bass drum with all of our linear patterns, which again is very square. Like I say, it's very, it's, it's much easier to play two hits on the bass drum because everything still lines up. But if all of a sudden we throw in one bass drum hit, it changes everything. It changes the, the sticking around. You sometimes have to crash with your left hand. In this case, you don't have to if you don't want to. But um, yeah, it just changes things around. So let's just worry about the rhythm first, okay? So one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. And now let's figure out the orchestration. Here we go. And there you have the second video in the Rock Drum Fills course. Now, just like on the first video, I want you to not move on to the next one right now. Don't go and say you've completed it or anything like that. Uh, stop the video, close the website, and, uh, and go and get the sheet music and actually follow along and learn the fills. So play them at the fast tempo for two minutes straight before moving on. If on the 16th note feels like the last two, number four and five, you're finding hitting at 100 beats per minute is too cha challenging, don't spend months on it. Like, do it at the slow tempo and then consider moving on if you want. For those of you that really want to challenge, I would say you can do it at 100 beats per minute for two minutes straight, but any mistakes, then you can go ahead and move on. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.